always reference YB. Uh, of course, Quick is also one of the best ones too from Europe. He just plays a different playstyle than Samus is typically known for. And of course, we got Dark Samus, so we'll go ahead and get that started for you guys. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how this goes. Uh, YB is pretty much the best representative of Dark Samus right here. Uh, a lot of people are excited to see how he plays in Larry. Uh, saying that he wants to use the Falco here specifically for this matchup, he knows that the shiny is really good to deal with the projectiles, and Samus's body being really easy to combo for Falco is going to work out really well for Larry. Let's see though, he can get around the trickiness of YB, so good with like these wave bounce cancels of the uh, charge shot. Oh wow, staying right outside. Yeah, it, it looks like that YB doesn't really want to approach full on close combat, he usually tries to put him off and then bait him into doing something and then you go in for like a Zare or just use the missiles, bombs, or baby charge shots to continue pressure instead. Yeah, being able to jump out of charge shot in this game has really helped uh, Dark Sanders move around the stage a lot better than he could in the previous game. Mm -hmm. Oh, the try to do the double jump. I don't think he has a jump now, but he's going to be able to recover low. Larry not quite challenging that yet. Oh, oh charge shot. Gets caught by the charge shot. Now he's got to deal with the bomb here. No, dude, the illusion to get past it. Yeah, he tried to use an up tilt to catch him too. Oh, the upper still not able to do it. Yeah, Samus is relatively heavy. A little while punch but the double jump gets covered. Now, double jump from ledge is pretty common from uh, Samus and Dark Samus because they don't have that many moves that are uh, really safe to get off the stage with. Mm -hmm. So if you know it's coming, you can punish it with the uh, aerial before they can get to the same stage. Yeah. All right, the medium charge shot is available for YB. Let's see if he seems to try to use it for charging or um, B reverses weight bounces on stage. Oh, oh it just goes in with a dash attack. attack. Really enough to kill. Did not kill that is. Uh, the the shield. Screw attack. Not quite working. Ooh, missing the tech chase here. Larry just playing really patiently in the shield. Wait for the opportunity to get these combos going. I love the use of the up tilt. Just sitting in right in the air where he wants. But trade coming out in Ryby's favor. Back there, sneaking his way in there. How uh, does get off from the stage? Oh, that was the longest empty oh. hop I've seen. Into the raw back air? Yeah, that's a really scary uh, combo that Falcon can go for at these time percent. It's going to work even better on a heavy character like Dark Samus. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, YB really looking for these grabs. Either Zare to grab or just a uh, raw grab to try and catch pressure. Not quite coming in his way, though. Larry playing around the projectile so intelligently right here. Mm -hmm. Even not even necessarily just relying on the shine that much to you know uh, send them back in his face, but I think YB knows the threat of the shine, so he's trying to use his uh, charge shot in different times to throw Larry off. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he's trying to use those charge shot baits to be able to like, jump fair or just force him to try and approach and wall him out. But Larry's been doing a good job of staying patient and not falling for the baits, and that's already been able to get him on last stock uh, for this first game. 111% easily probably up air or excuse me up till the back air percentage for Falco to, be able to seal out the stock. Oh the grazing hit in there and why we needed that to send him off the stage. He's missing a lot of these key things he needs to get the stock right here but Larry working his lead so comfortably here trying to go for a bomb setup really great stuff. One of uh, Dark Samus's best tools for edge trapping in this game. Yeah those bombs are really great for setups. Caught him on the roll and he's still able to follow up with like a look like an F tilt or something like that. Nice, catching him, jumping a little bit too greedy there. Larry sneaks in the back air, not taking any percent of his last stock, sealing out the first game. Yep. Really comfortable for Larry. I like to see both these guys play because Larry's using Falco uh, to a level where a lot of people aren't sure how good the character is in this game. Definitely got a lot of key buffs through the engine, yep. less lag on his aerials. But uh, his combo game is just, it was already really good in Smash 4, but I think since there's less lag on his aerials in general, it works a lot better. It's also nice to see Larry just going back to his roots. He was in a melee and in uh, Brawl. He used Falco mostly for the most time. I think that's what his original name came from, Does Everyone Hate Falco? And then started using Fox in Smash 4, and now he's bringing out all three of the spaces. Yeah. He has all of them available to him in his pocket for yeah, whenever he needs them. That's always really exciting to see because uh, you never know which one you're going to get. Well, I guess it depends on the matchup, but it's cool to see someone use all three of them to a high level in the first place. Right. But Town and City. I think just wants more platforms to mess with. I love the wave bounce charge shot, like wave, uh, wave lands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all mobility. Yeah, does the does the gamer tech <laughs> where you just roll after the eleventh hit. But yeah, using those wave bounces and those uh, speed reverses is very essential in Samus play. You've seen Quick be able to do that as well, and he's a very key Samus player as well in our meta, being able to take out the set against Salem earlier oh, yesterday. Oh yeah, that was an incredible upset. Mm -hmm. 
We're gonna see more of him later on today. But YB's trying to make something happen here against Larry Falco. Covers a jump with the Florida. Nice. It's the bomb at the ledge yet again. Ooh, gotta worry about that up tilt. So strong. Nice, nice timing. Jump there. Yeah, just keeps himself covered. Woo! Okay, okay, there we go. Dagger, but does cover the roll. But he's gotta be careful here. This is there. Not able to follow up, but he's getting a lot more uh, damage on Larry this game. I think he just kind of got the timing of how Larry wants to jump in neutral. Now he's waiting him out. All right. Okay. Wow. Just intercepts him with a short hop up there. That works fine. Ooh, they pick up from the land. He's gonna get some time to charge here. Oh, that charge shot's really scary right now. Larry got the first percent for it to connect. First fight to kill at this point. Oh yeah, just uh, it looked like a neutral air actually. Yeah. Be able to keep him off one more time. And YP on this wide stage is able to play his walling out game a little bit better. He's able to use those projectiles and the uh, strong normals. And that back air will be able to keep him off stage again. I want to get the illusion back there. He probably sell the side Valerian against spot on the stage. How is he going to get off here? No, this is a nice roll to avoid getting down to it with no more invincibility in the ledge. Back throw here. Not gonna get hit by the last hit of that back throw. On a greedy up warrior. Bomb here, nice. They didn't necessarily need the bomb to get that down to connect, but that was just really good timing on the down tilt to catch the up B. Yeah. Right, back throw. Stage. Again, setting up the bomb before the high recovery. Set up again. Down throw forward here, has a charge shot too. I like how he's like, has a charge out, but he's canceling it because he knows where he's going to go up the reflector. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. smart stuff. Yeah, used to either debate it. Oh, another pivot grab. Put them off stage again. The bomb set up one more time. Will it force a high recovery? It will. Nice. And he intercepts a jump with it. Oh my goodness. Almost <laughs> snipes him perfectly with the charge shot. Why be sharpshooter right now? Yeah, that dash attack's still not enough to do it. And of course, Samus can shrink her hurt box because of the bombs. Makes it very difficult to edge guard her, and you just usually want to respect it because their explosions can like clip your jump and stuff like that. Yeah. Without that, Samus would be much easier to edge guard in jungle in this game. Yeah. <laughs> That's like her one tool to get out of jungle situations. That fair still not enough to do it. Samus is pretty heavy, and by extension, Dark Samus. So we'll live for a reasonably long time. Warp build definitely not enough to kill 224%. YB just is playing patiently, staying diligent on this stock, but the last hit of the forward air, just enough to go to the ledge jump. Again, really common option from the Samus to get off the ledge. Yeah. Now, Fago Lopers and Combo game really strong. Let's see what he can do to bring himself back in the game. Got the down throw, the up tilt, did drag down forward air, and really good stuff for Larry to just reset over and over, but he's a little bit too greedy. Oh my goodness, barely avoids the charge shot, and there's the down air setup. So good at catching that exploitable up B from Falco. Yeah. I mean, that charge shot just covers so much horizontal space. You're trying to get out of there. Best way to do it, fastball. And then you're already susceptible, especially if you're spacey to a spike like that. Oh, but we'll reflect it right there. Keep him on stage one more time. What's the ledge trap going to be? He jumps out. Oh, and the oh. parry, but he doesn't get the multi parry, unfortunately. But up to the back air, of that course, that is so a kill strong. confirmed. I have seen Larry do at too many locals here. And he's able to do it even against these top players. Yeah, he definitely needs that setup, especially against a character like Dark Samus can live so long. Yeah, brought it back to even, but all of a sudden YB just brought out the damage. 59% already to him. But Larry's doing a good job of figuring out how YB's trying to get back, either usually with the jump uh, fair or just like a regular jump, stuff like that. Yeah, he's usually throwing out an aerial when he tries to come back to the stage. And Larry's being a little bit more patient, just stays right outside the range of where YB wants to be. Nice control to force him at the edge of the stage. Oh, gets the bomb to force him to drift in. Gets the force smash out. That jab is so bad. Can't even connect the second hit, even though he hit the first part. Okay. Slight charge shot here. Trying to bait Larry to maybe throw out the reflector. Oh, the double up air covering the jump. No screw attack coming out from him, oh. though. Oh, but a missed space. Aerial into the up air. Still not enough. Town City's too tall. Oh, tries to go for the forward it. smash. Oh, there it is. The charge shot cancels in the fair. Baiting Larry to jump. As you get back, oh, another charge shot, cancel bait. Not able to find anything though, the platforms are going away. What's the option gonna be? Oh, oh the spot touch! So scary in this ground situation, catches the jump with the charge shot. Larry committing the jump a little bit too risky, but the sharpshooter YB with the snipe. Taking that game, bringing it to 1 1. Really solid adjustment. Everyone in this top eight so far has been adapting to each other pretty much on the fly. It's really impressive to see. There we go. Larry. I think Larry is dead set on the Falco in this set. I think Fox is actually insanely good against uh, the Samuses just because he covers it so well and also has the shine himself. But uh, I don't know. Larry's just a little bit more comfortable with the Fox, or sorry, the Falco combos. 
It might have to do with that up tilt back air being a much more reliable uh, kill setup at these higher percentages in comparison to Fox. I don't feel a great choice as well for Falco. These platforms win themselves. This combo really well. Wow, landing there into the up tilt. Not able to find anything else though, but still gets a decent amount of damage. Still getting caught by those uh, jump to the stage fares. I mean, that uh, covers a wide range for Sam in front of her, so works out quite nicely. Yeah, and the way he uses it too, he tries to cross up your shield and land behind you. And when you think you can punish his landing, he just like, gets a spot dodge or a roll or something safe like that. And, but that Nair from Falco covering all the way behind him, not going to get crossed up. Larry, he's going to ledge pressure here. Yeah, just stays right outside the range when he drops down and tries to jump back with an aerial. Larry doing a good job of ledge trapping YB. Even if he doesn't get the full ledge trap, he just carries him to the other side and continues the process again. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> he's literally looking for that up tilt into a setup. I mean, he can afford to do it. He's not too far behind in the percents either. He's able to keep up that pressure, that reflector barely hitting YB there. Or barely not hitting him, excuse me. Oh my goodness, so close. You gotta be ready for the threat of those bomb setups at the ledge. Why be so consistent at getting those to work? Try to throw out a baby charge shot just to keep Larry off bay, but he just short hop right over it. Good stuff from Larry. Cover the ledge. Oh, nice time in the get up attack there. Not gonna force the four uh, air to work, but nice jab check. Jab check into the grab. Mm -hmm. Jab one is such a good tool from. <laughs> from Samus. It's in, even though Jab 1-2 isn't a true combo, uh, Jab 1 is great for shield pressure and just, yeah, like you said, doing checks and oh, wow! That shield trunk so much! Through attack. Got Larry sleeping a little bit on that platform, looking a little bit too comfortable. YB sneaking in the first stock and we've seen so far. Works really well with the stock lead. Up tilt, up air, or excuse me, up throw, up air not quite working and so much pressure really? on the shield. Yeah, yeah that's a regrab though. Thought he could catch him off guard with that charge shot. Yeah, not, not a super bad option. I mean, he hasn't gone for it yet, so he might have been able to catch Larry off guard a little mm -hmm. bit. But, oh, not going to get the ground he's looking for. Up tilt set up. No, immediate screw attack to get out of the pressure. Larry's trying to start there. He's playing really well on Battlefield. It's normally a really good toggle stage, but Larry's not been able to use his climb with his combo as much as he wanted. Right. Getting out the distance. Up tilt. Oh, Still continuing, yeah, but the bottom, yeah, like I said, just uh, interrupts the combo there. Nice platform extension there, where he's applying the pressure here. Where's Ivy gonna go? Just jumps right to the ledge, but gets killed by the down tilt. <laughs> no down air, but still continuing. These combos, true attack. Really good stuff for Samus on these platform stages. We try to chase her up there on his shield, do something unsafe, and she just carries through the top. Trying to carry across the stage, not quite. Just gonna oh. use that. Oh wow, the up smash, still not enough to do it. Samus is pretty heavy, even though they're floaty. Very heavy character. Forward air to connect. Why be using these bombs to drift back to the stage? Oh, gets right in his face. Jab check again. Trying to see if he can get a mix up, but not going to get a follow. He's looking for Still get the slight charge, the, uh, charge shot. Here we go. Yeah. I really like the movement that YB is doing. Dashing in and out. Making it really hard for later. Really where he's going to go. But the forward air is still strong enough to kill a heavy character like Samus. Yep. Oh, and this face is that. Put him on the back throw. Bomb setup. What's he going to do? Tries no, to go for the up tilt. Yeah, not going to be able to find it though. Nice, Perry again, he knows he's going to get up this stage with these forward airs, so he's just weighing out that option patiently, getting the punches he can. Nice oh, parry. another again, parry. Second hit. Yeah, not quite working out there. Back throw. Another bomb set up. Oh, not catching the neutral good, but catches the jump. That sweet spot back there, really strong for Sam. It's only taking 33%. Yeah, that'll work quite nicely. keeping it really competitive. Right, yeah, both these two low percents. Really big opportunity for either of these two to start off their combos. Especially YB, if you can get like that charge shot grab into oh, like yeah. forward air, that's like 40% almost. Mm -hmm. Got the medium one up, he might be trying to look for it. Oh, it looked like he tried to pull it out, but uh, just got interrupted immediately by those up airs. Larry now starting off the juggles here. Yeah, so good at getting like fastball nares and fairs to get these resets at low percent with Falco. I like okay. that mix-up from YB, doesn't cross up that time. Larry was ready for it, and there we go, medium charge shot into the potential combo. Clips out the jump, but he makes it back oh. to the stage just fine. Really but he's continuing these strings here. Traps. Gets one more up B. Larry retrieving the power toss, slow down for language, covered by the dash attack, got the slight charge, the charge shot. Oh, base him in shield, gonna throw him off stage again. The bomb set up yet again, the up tilt, really scary. Oh, I thought that might oh. have just been the spike to end it all, but he wants to maintain for the ledge trap instead. How does he get back to the stage? He does not. The back air does oh, not put so him off. He's so scary right now. Tries to cover the roll with the back air, but he does have that dangerous charge shot in deck, too. Larry's just trying to feed him in a bad spot. 
Does it cover the roll? Shark shot is still not fully committed yet. Doesn't have the full charge available. What's he gonna do here on the ledge? Get up attack. Back on stage again. Uses the bounded retreat. <gasps> Super drip back. That's something that Samus can do. That locker is in the bad spot, but the commitment on the laggy tether grab gets punished by Larry's back there. Super, super close game. Larry's gonna go up 2 1. Yeah. Just barely clutching that one out. He really wanted to be able to get that. I think he noticed that Larry might have accidentally gotten trumped there. So then he he noticed he was gonna go for an immediate option, try to go for like a grab and meet, grab for that because he was trying to roll and then he was already up in the air and then got that back there after that. Larry gonna go up 2 1 here, trying to defend the turf once more against Japan. Oh. Maybe now, this is interesting. Uh, maybe maybe he was wondering, uh, maybe he was thinking that, that last game was a little bit too close for comfort. Maybe yeah. it's time to go with Switch, especially in this like one game up, one more to win the set. That was throw something out that I haven't shown so far. And I still feel like Fox does amazing versus uh, Samus, like I said. Mm -hmm. He has more mobility on the ground, so he can run in while Samus is trying to get her like, projectiles out. Yeah. Combos are really well. And then, uh, like I said, has to shine to deal with the projectiles. So, really good Switch here for Larry, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, Fox, or excuse me. Dark Samus just wants to wall you out and keep you in that mid-range zone, but Fox can invade that really easily. He has so many great burst options, so it makes it difficult. And with the data on top of that, it makes it difficult for a character like Dark Samus to really keep the Fox out. Surprised to see a, a y, YB commit to like a screw attack after getting all those up bears with like the platform assist, but neither here nor there. Larry continuing the pressure here, trapping these landings, getting all these big hits with Fox. Very close to dropping his stock already, even with a heavy character like Samus. Ooh, just yeah. grabs right in his face. Thought you could be safe charging. Larry jumps right in his face with the back air. The, the Kalo setup on Town and City makes it very vulnerable against spacey back airs. So it works with Wolf, it works with Falco, it works with Fox. Very dangerous spot to be in, especially when you're at high percent. Nice, catching these lanes again, weighing out the bomb and air dodge from YB. Larry is uh, also not really committing to jump anymore after these like, charge dot catches too. It's making it hard for YB to open up in neutral. Oh, but there's a charge that has the neutral get up there. He's going to charge up again, but there's a dare, man. He's not able to get the ledge shot with the bomb either. That's really unfortunate for him. Yep. Oh, up top picks him back up, avoids the bomb, doesn't allow him to string continuously. But YB doing an ill-advised grab, not able to extend anything. And Larry looking much more comfortable with the box. What's the punish going to be? I think he tried to get something after the last hit of fair, but it didn't quite come out in time. Oh, catches the roll in, but the weak charge shot, not enough to get the stock here. No pivot grab connect. That's a really punishable move to commit to. Such a laggy tether grab, and Larry's gonna punish it perfectly. <laughs> as soon as Larry got the up smash, I just saw, I just looked at Team Japan, and you're just like, <laughs> 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 it was like, oh boy, this isn't good for YB. But here we go, the upbeat out of shield, not quite enough oh, to do it yet. And the shine deep. that would have killed it. Connected, Larry saw through it perfectly, and now we got the up air strings going all the way to the top of the stage. Jab lets him. Uh, Let's him win these boxing situations too. He's just standing jab not as fast as Fox, but he's in the back here. Finally takes out a stock, but already 60%. That's prime up air, up air juggle percent to be facing. Woo! Oh, there he is, the shine again, reacting to the charge shot perfectly. YB in dire straight shines back all the way off the stage, but Samus saves her jump, makes it back. Yeah, try to go for it again, it looked like, or potentially just go for the Firefox kill. But not quite gonna be able to find it still. 135, that's not a good place to be in. It's looking for the grab, or excuse me, looking for the off smash right now. Not quite. YB gets that grab, puts him off stage again. Doesn't falling, get the fair, doesn't get the last out hit of out. The last hit of fair, and then just forced the air dodge into a terrible spot. Gets back aired off the stage. Ray's gonna take that one. 3 1, I believe. Over yeah. YB, preventing the upset. And sending another uh, Samus representative into that loser's bracket, probably joining the Mars, I believe. Yeah. Alrighty. So. Great stuff all around from all these players. Keeping things close and uh, Larry <laughs> still p defending the turf as well. I'm just seeing the Nairo just went up to Larry and then decided <laughs> to poke a little bit of fun at him and look at it. Alrighty, yeah. Great Thank stuff you. from Larry.